Tamika and I have um, a request from several people about my shabby paper process is what one lady called it she's like I I would love to know your shabby paper process well it's really very simple and I do not have a problem showing you as I am getting ready to do a card so I figure I um, do the tutorial now it's very very easy so I'm using um, some no-name paper like I can't remember um, where this paper came from but I love it <laughs> and I believe I'm almost sure it came from Malika in France but um, here it is very pretty um, shabby paper but I want to transform it to look like this like I love the look of this the slight hint of sparkle in it the shabbiness of it all um, the wrinkle all of it so let me share with you my latest project where I use this technique and it was using it's on this 4x4 4 4x6 photo storage box holder so this is the it's a little bit of a muted version of it because I needed the paper to stretch but it is super shabby and I just love this this crinkled shabby look so <clears throat> let me go ahead and share with you so you want to get whatever paper and I'm a believer that any paper can be turned to the use for this technique so any of your any of your papers doesn't have to be a shabby chic paper you can whitewash it into something else so um, I'm, get your paper together you know whatever paper you're going to use and then you can use you need something to put your gesso on I just use an acetate piece that you can wipe it off and wipe it back you know clean it off immediately and use it again so I keep this handy but you can use a paper plate a palette uh, artist palette whatever cup anything that you can put some gesso and some water on some scissors um, of course gesso or white paint and then um, some water in a spray bottle or you can put it in a cup I just use these little um, oops, these little travel spray containers okay so this is super cute <laughs> like I love it okay <clears throat> So this paper is cut at um, four, I think it's a little bit shorter than four and a half. My card is four and three quarters. So um, I've already cut it out. So the first thing that I do is I take the edge of my scissors. I know you could use your Tim Holtz rat tail thing. I don't know what it's called. I forget what it's called. This is a distressor or whatever. Anything you want to use to distress your paper. <clears throat> Hold your paper firmly. Excuse me and just take the edge of the scissors which is what I do it creates a better look and I have a distress at all I, I like this it's quicker and um, I get the shabby effect that I want be sure to hold your paper with your thumb and finger so that you don't rip the paper if you don't want to rip mine's often rip but I don't mind it adds to the shabbiness so all I'm doing is just scratching the edge and go as deep as you want to get the shabby that you require. So yeah, just rip the paper. Only one this time, not too bad. Not too shabby. So just gonna go back over some of the areas where I want a little bit more rough. Put that in. Okay. Just get this off. Okay, so this is how my paper looks, and I love it. It's so cute. I need to leave it like that. Like, it's super cute. Okay, the next thing that I do is wet my paper, and you don't want to soak it because it is paper, and it will rip. So just a couple sprays. Just make sure you get the front and back. My mister is a, it sprays wide, so it's a little bit coming out. So not a whole bunch. This is a thick paper, and you just want to gently, you know, go in a circle and crimple it up. You don't want to just ball it up like that. You rip it, and then you just ruin the whole thing. As you go in the circle, as you crunch it, crunch it smaller each time until you get to like the tiniest ball. And I'm, and I swear I do this every time. And then if I'm doing a lot, I'm doing it slower now because I'm doing a tutorial. But if I'm doing a lot, I put the little balls aside and I cut out all of my papers. Let me get off the table. Stop shaking. I cut all my papers out and I just let all the balls sit and then go back to the first one. And by that time, it has air dried. So 
I have my little dryer out so I can show you guys immediate results. So slowly open this back up, just like so. You got a nice little wrinkle to it. And then just continue to keep working, you know, where you want the wrinkles to be. If it's not staying, wrinkle it up in the position where you think you want it and zap it with the tool. The heat tool. Okay. And then that'll get you. That'll get you. Sometimes paper is stubborn. So gently just don't press it out real tight. You just want it to, to get, you know, a little flat. We don't want to we don't want to straighten out the wrinkles. See? So take your piece or whatever you're putting your, your gesso or your paint on. I'm gonna take a little bit on my foam brush. I don't know if I mentioned that we need that. Foam brush or paint brush. Just a little bit, just doing the tip here. Now, again, you can use a cup of water, dip it in there like so. I just want to spread this around. See how thick it is? We want it water. We want to get it pretty liquidy. See, it's still coming off pretty thick. We don't want to color our paper. We just want to wash it over. So this a thin, so you can see it kind of run off. See, just like that. See how wet it's gotten? Now, take your brush and just coat it over the top. Don't press it into the grooves. We're just coating it over the top. Make sure you get the edges. Just lightly. I like to go over with my finger just make sure everything's all smooth how I want it now if your paper starts to get less wrinkly than you like hit it with the heat tool so this is the last time that I'm gonna hit it with the heat tool but before I do that if I want something um, if I want my paper to be a little bit more shimmery I'm gonna grab my homemade shimmer mist I'll put the link in the tutorial for that in the description box I'm gonna hit that couple times ball it up hit it with my heat tool And last but not least, I forgot to say this too, while these things are raised, you see the paper is a bit raised, I just take me some white ink to sharpen those edges around the card, I mean around the corners, the edges, and then any peaks that you see, just a little bit. You can do that again if you um, want to do it with the paint, but I don't like to do my paint and water too much on the paper because... It just gets too fragile after that. And then you just take the paper, do it on the side, and you just flatten it out. Well, I flipped it over because I don't want to rub off any of the paint from the other side. Super shabby. <laughs> Super shabby! So, if I was putting that on the card, take my little leftover paint I'm using this corrugated from Michaels and then I just run whoops I just run this across the edge just on the outside you don't have to do the middle because that's going to be covered See, this is really watered down from the whitewash, but that's fine. Hit it with the heat tool. Okay. 
okay just lay it flat because it's it's uh it'll start to warp the water and then I have a sheet of um, white cardstock and I'm just going to lightly distress this edge just a little bit that's going to go right on top of there get my glue gun that's nice and flat and then I'm going to take my <clears throat> shabby paper fly everywhere. and that's going to lay there but before I lay it there I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the back and I'm just using this leftover piece of um, corrugated board from when I cut cut it down And that's the last one. Ooh. super shabby here's the other one I mean I could layer that on there as well as if I wanted to I could use that for something else but there we go and if you you know this one has the shimmer in it but you can opt to leave it out here I could do this one better put more in there but you can opt to leave it out but it's super cute you can go ahead and layer your flowers and your stuff on there and um, another thing I like to do when I get the card done and laid down I'll, I'll curl up these edges you know like so make them a little bit more rougher wrinkle them up a little bit really cute so anyway super easy right guys so uh, let me know what you think and let me know if you've tried it out and like the video if you like it thank you guys so much for watching bye